friends let us learn the lens steel technique one way of managing soft cataracts is this technique the lens tilt technique let us see how it is done in this case the main incision has been done the anterior chamber is filled up with spmc a side port is made on the left side of the main wound I make only one side port and the side port is about 1.6 to 1.8 millimeter and now the capsular axis capsular axis is being done with a uterator forceps size of this axis is about 5.5 millimeter or 5.75 millimeter the axis should be on the larger side but less than 6 millimeter if you want to use this technique and see what has happened let us see this in slow motion as you do hydro dissection keep injecting the fluid after the fluid goes to the other side the lens stands up one part of the equator is now supra capsular now inject viscoelastic substance on either side of this uh, standing nucleus take the chopper and support the posterior surface of the nucleus so that it doesn't go into the back again now this is one cut this is adjacent another cut this is adjacent another cut now sweep from one side to the other side and the supracapsular portion is detached and it is emulsified. Now between these two instruments crush this nucleus and start eating it up. And now most of the nucleus has been removed and I am trying to it up only the nucleus and keep the epinucleus which will protect the posterior capsule and yes we can see that the this is the board shaped epinucleus it has protected the posterior capsule and now very gently with low vacuum and low energy we remove the epinucleus and now I start removing the cortex by the handpiece itself. Come to the uh, IA mode or vacuum about 350 and flow rate 35 and hold the anterior part of the wound. Keep an eye on the behavior of the posterior capsule. If the posterior capsule is far away, you can attempt this, but it is risky you can opt safer options the cortex has been removed by the handpiece itself and now we have to implant an intraocular lens and see what happens something has gone inside the anterior chamber from outside this happens when the eye uh, intraocular pressure is less than the atmospheric pressure and now the main wound is being enlarged little bit because I am going to use a B cartridge and an intraocular lens acrylic monofocal intraocular lens goes into the capsular bag hydro implantation is very good for hydrophilic intraocular lenses even hydrophobic intraocular lenses but for multi-piece hydrophobic intraocular lenses use viscoelastic substance and implant the lens the side port is nicely closed a 
final lavage is done at this time any visco sticking to the corneal endothelium is gently removed the antechamber is nicely formed integrity of the wounds are checked few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your skills please don't stay at one set of skills please try different techniques improve your skills and customize a particular technique for a particular patient